Let us read the whole chapter. You will understand when I'll be explaining to you. Uh, one time, some years ago, uh, me and Mama, we had a house in Captain Park. And that house made us to suffer a lot. Because we got letters from the court that they want to take over because we are failing to pay. And we were worried what will happen. And we were worried what will happen. And our options was to go back to our shack in Winnie Mandela. Moving from Winnie Mandela to Captain Park. Brought a great victory that everybody could see. But we thought if we can go back, many will be discouraged. We spent time saying, can we accept it? Let's allow God to do his will. And the Lord said, if you are going back, it is well. If God gives us money here, there was a time where we found we paid that house. Until one person came to support us to pay the house at the time. And we even pay ourselves. We didn't even take 20 years. We took almost 8 years to finish that. I began to understand that there are many problems we put to ourselves. Because that's what we did in the beginning. I believe I have more than three years without seeing that house. And this is the house that gave me trouble nights. And I found that we normally spend time try to solve things that we cannot solve. And forgetting the plan of God. In we normally worry without questioning why God has allowed this. It took me years. Now, without seeing that house. After I finished that, I even extended it. And I told my wife, we are going to die here. If rapture comes, will take us from here. I even forgot how the house looked like. I even forgot how the how many times are you trying to solve things with your mind that God can solve than to flow with God's plan? I have learned that for you to succeed in God's plan, you just need to rejoice. That's what I want to talk about. Just rejoice. Have joy. Joy is important. Because now I'm thinking if I might have rejoiced than to have that depression of the Because look, it's solved and I've forgotten. It happens by the time of David. David, for the first time, he was so excited. He was happy 
And the Bible says he was dancing. You cannot dance without a joy. In fact, dancing is part of enjoyment. There is an excitement inside it. And the Bible says, Bible yare, when they were taking this ark of God, before God, because it was representing God. Two sons of Abinadab were walking another side, another side, another one. Dancing what they were doing. And the Bible says when they were taking this ark of God, before God, they were taking this ark of God. I just want to come close to you when I'm preaching. Because that's where they were excited. They knew they are bringing God. They knew they were before God. But the Bible says that ark stumbled. One of them this man forgot that this represents God. It's a sign of you cannot help God. We have got many people who are trying to help God. Leave it to God and rejoice. Go to the Lord to God and rejoice. Go to the Lord to God and rejoice. When he behold the earth, he will be able to help God. And God was displeased. Is he helping me? And the Bible says he died on the And David was angry. And said, no, I'm no longer happy with God. But there is something that I want to tell you about. The Bible says he was afraid. Because listen to this. We are lacking fear. Once you start to have fear, you will be afraid to help him. So David could say, no, 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 no. This ark must not come to my house. It must be taken there. When it was there, he heard that ah, the owner of that house now is blessed because of the ark. David forgot the David pain. I don't know if you are hearing me. He forgot what happened. He forgot the pain that he had seeing someone die. And he said, hey, I'm following the ark. And the Bible says when the ark was taken, David Hey, you know, listen to this. He had a joy and he was active. He was so excited. To the extent that he was like he was undignified. To the extent that his girlfriend was watching. Because she loved David because he was a king. She David because of possession. But she didn't know the revelation that David found concerning the ark. She, David knew that he had to rejoice. Because this God, if I take him to my house, when I'm challenged, I cannot be bothered. Because at the end, the blessings will come. Listen to this, we need to know the end. We need to understand what God will do. will create joy where there is no joy. We will create joy where there is no joy. Because we know the end and the beginning. One of the problems we have today is when we remember what happened and what he can do. We are focusing on the past. David forget the past. And say, hey, 
know if this man is blessed because of the presence of God. I need to rejoice. He dance mightily. He dance mightily. When was the last time you dance mightily? You know, I found something in the church. You people are very much educated. That even the music you follow David was not going by the beat. David the music. That is why he shared that is why was worried. That's why Michelle was worried. That's why Michelle was worried. You know, today I want someone to dance mightily <laughs> and bring a joy in the heart. Sell it you will see the impossible <laughs> will become possible. <laughs> Can you forget what devil did in the past? And create joy around you. And become excited when there is nothing to be excited about. Because you know what God will do. I don't know if you are hearing me. Let me try to tell you one time. Me, I'm a person of visions, but I hide myself. My mama knows this thing. One time I got a vision about one woman in the church. And I told people here, I'm just reminding you. When this woman was lifting up her hands, and I'm in front there, I was, I was about to minister. I began to see her when her husband going to work, that she goes out to and boyfriend, and at half past three, half past three she go back to bath. And the husband, when he comes back, he says, oh, you are beautiful. He doesn't know what was happening today. I become very I said, go expose this woman. And I call her. I began to tell her what she's doing. And God said, I'm not here to you. If you want me to use you mightily, just rejoice. Just rejoice. Leave these people are mine. Just rejoice. Just rejoice. Just rejoice. Whatever they are doing, they will be holded accountable. You guard your heart. Enjoy yourself. Because that's how I work better. If you want to see God lifting you, change your attitude. Change how you live. Begin to allow joy to penetrate your heart. When it's inside your heart, God who's around you will bring forth the place that man cannot stop. I want to tell someone here you might be facing what is impossible, but I'm here to tell you that God who knows you is El Roy, El you can see you. He's about to change the situation you are going through if you believe Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Change the attitude. Begin to rejoice. When they are oppressing you, create the atmosphere. Create the atmosphere and become excited about what God can do. And he will do it and for you. I see God this week opening doors that nobody can open. You will go through if you believe shout hallelujah. Look at this verse. First Thessalonians 5. Verse 18. Verse 18. It says what? In every situation. Be thankful. They continually give thanks. To God, this is the will of God for you. Every situation. 
be thankful Levora. and continue to give thanks, it becomes the will of God for you. If it is the will of God, it works for good. The bad things can work for good. I don't know what you are facing. If you thank God, it means you brought peace and joy in your heart. You cannot thank God you cannot give thanks if you are not happy. So in every situation, just be happy and thank God and God who sees your situation will, will give you breakthrough. I see breakthrough in your life. I see breakthrough in your life. Today I want to tell you because when I look at some of you here, it's a long time you were laughing. But God will give you laughter. You will be the one to laugh last. If you believe, say amen. Because what you have been waiting for is about to happen in the name of Jesus. How can the Bible say Why Bible the situation CMO. you can change it to be the will of God? The funeral at home you can change it to be the will of God is when you rejoice knowing what God can do. See, we are spending time trying to change things that we really change. If someone dies in your family, I mean, even if you cry, can you resurrect the person? If you bring depression, how can you resurrect the person? If you bring depression, how can you resurrect the person? There are situations that you can say, God, you are in control. You give thanks. You rejoice. You enjoy it. When you are feeling Feeling pains crying deep down in your heart. You say, This cannot touch my soul. Because God is aware. God is aware why this has happened. If we read Philippians 4, read from 4 to 6. Because I love to read scriptures. I don't to read Let's read there. Philippians 4. 4 to 6. Uh -huh. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Uh -huh. Meaning, delight, take pleasure in Him. Stop there. The Bible didn't say, Rejoice in the Lord sometimes. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Take pleasure in Him. I want to tell you something that you can do at home. If you take one scripture, remember the word is Jesus. Eh? The word is Jesus. So take one scripture. Repeat it several times. You, you will begin to laugh. Because it serves to To make you active in this presence. To overcome situations. By seeing beyond the situation. Uh, I don't know if you are hearing The scripture is said. When you take pleasure in it. You take the word of God. You meditate it. You repeat it. That word of God will give you strength. To see beyond the situation. Oh my God. There are people who are here. I mean, your vision is limited. And the devil is playing dice in front of you. So this is the time that you rejoice in the Lord. Can you just read and continue to read? And it says, again I will say, Rejoice. Uh -huh. Let your gentle spirit, meaning your graciousness, unselfishness, mercy, tolerance, and patience be known to all people. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious or worried about anything, but in everything, meaning every circumstance and situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, continue to make your specific request known to God. Did you hear that verse? That verse never said 
Worry about everything. He said, do not worry about anything. Including your job. Including your business. Including your marriage. He said, do not worry about anything. Why? Why? Because you will be rejoicing. And allow this job to be seen by the people around you. So that they can see your tolerance. So that they can see a fruit. Do you know that the Bible says joy is the fruit of the Spirit? Can you read Galatians 5 verse 22? 5 verse 22. It says, but the fruit of the Spirit, meaning the result of His presence within us, is love, and selfish concern for others, joy, inner peace, patience, not the ability to wait, but how we act while waiting, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, yes. gentleness, self-control against such things, there is no law. Yes, yes, yes. Remember I'm preaching about rejoicing. And the stick is hitting my head. And a TPA no decide to pet up. And I'm rejoicing. And I'm rejoicing. You know, you know why I'm rejoicing? What's about why kitaba? Because I'm fighting spirits. That are trying to trouble you. Yeah, the Acting as if God won't bring the answer. I see the answer coming. I see the answer coming. I see the answer coming. I the answer coming. I see the answer coming. I see the same thing that was happening when I was not saved. I was not saved. I was not saved. I was not saved. I I knew they were searching for reaction. And I have to maintain my and control. I don't know if you are hearing me. And listen to this. Satan will follow you that Satan Can you see you are saved? Satan has followed you. That's why the problem is still the same problem. That when, before you were saved, you are still facing the same. Even when you are saved, because your reaction is needed. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can you just tell your grounds and and tell yourself, I want to stay here. No matter what devil says. I don't know if you are hearing me. You know, the spirit of fighting left me. In a way that even when people are saying what they are saying, I could not even retaliate. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, Consider it joy. Can I get Can NIV Bible? And got to like NIV. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Mm. Stop there. The Bible said, Consider it pure joy. It means there are some joy, but they are not pure. But consider it pure joy when you face trials. I don't know if you are hearing me. Me, I feel pure 
joy. Are uh, translated as a joy. What are you facing? When a pure joy. What are you going through? And it trials in your life. God is working in us. I don't know if you are hearing me. I see someone here. I say God is working in us. God is working in us. Read, read that verse again. Verse 10. 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 Leading to spiritual maturity and inner peace. Uh, wow. Can you just read NIV? Ivalenka NIV. I, I just want to talk about perseverance. Kinyo kovole laka hotelelo. Talks about not not three. Because you know that the testing of your faith develops mm. perseverance. Amen. The the testing of your faith. Ole kulo atumelelina. What? Perseverance. In other words, joy is between where you are and your destiny. When you are persevering, you are coming to the way where God cannot deny you anything. If you want to reach a level where no one can stop you, where no one can stop you, where no one can stop you, Consider it joy. Because joy brings perseverance. And perseverance makes you mature. Makes you complete. I want to tell you something you don't know. That's why I came to preach this. There are things that God won't give you. Until you become complete. Do you hear me? There are things that God will never give you. Until, can you just read verse 4? Verse 4. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete. Perseverance must finish its work so that you become mature and complete. You know, uh, uh, one time, I was preaching my younger brother was born in 1975. He's one of our younger brothers. One time, we found him crying for paraffin. He cried a lot. He wants to drink. Because paraffin looks like water. But he wanted, he didn't know that it was hazardous. There are some things that you will cry for them because you don't have understanding of them. But it's only when you are mature you know the work of it. Can I tell you this? God will never give you something until you become mature. I don't know if you are hearing me. Are you hearing me? So how do you become mature? Joy, joy. Joy. Joy, joy. You just rejoice. You rejoice. Tabafel. Do you know that uh, joy is a medicine? Book of Proverbs. DM. Or let's, let's read 17. Verse 22. Verse 22. Mm -hmm. It says what? A yeah, happy 17. Heart, a happy heart. Read. A happy heart is good medicine. And a joyful mind causes healing. But a broken spirit dries up the bones. A happy heart is a good medicine. I was with my wife uh, and then she was not feeling well. I think it was 1996. I was already started to preach. So she said she wanted to see a doctor. We went there. When we reached there, 
ha re fetha ko a ke le ba le taba tsa tsa chilela doctor check bo tokotela ba ba checka check and check on computer ba checka dilo checka o fela ba ya kontong ela ba re ke computer ba ya ona bo libelela and he said to mama you have cancer ba re o mama ona le cancer ona le kanker mama she stood up mama ba emelela and say you are the one who's having cancer ba re ke wena ona ngle cancer so she went out I follow her. <laughs> I also said, are you crazy? Because listen to this. Many things can Din kill you. Lack of joy can kill you. You, you are told things. Now you are afraid now. You will die. You will die. I know there are some people who are here. You are here. You went for a test, they told you you're HIV positive. Now all the time you are looking at yourself in a mirror. You are what are you looking at? Yeah. All the time now, you have fear than rejoicing. Last time I told you people that. Because me, I normally do that. Unfortunately, I'm no longer waking. When someone is oppressing you where you're waking, just rejoice. But one day, call that person. Ah, 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 but because I love you. Huh? That's why I don't want to. And that's why I can't go lie. So carry on oppressing me. <laughs> it will give you a problem. <laughs> Did you hear that? Because you know who you are saving. I don't know if you're hearing me. Do you know your God? He owned that company. He owned everything. Are you hearing me? You need to rejoice. When you get a sick letter, you, you need, need to rejoice. rejoice. Something will happen. Don't worry about this thing. There are some people that when somebody says, I don't love you anymore, you, you want to kill yourself. God wants to give someone better you than that one. Why? You need to rejoice. I'm here to tell you that whatever you are facing, you have got right to change it. Don't fight back. Don't fight back. Allow the burden to be of your God. Listen, when you are rejoicing, it is a medicine. Inside your heart, you are rejoicing. But God is taking this one away. Bringing the one who is alive. God is preparing the best for me. This one that has a living me, if you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let me show you something here. You hear what joy can do. Proverbs 15. Verse 30. Proverbs 15. Proverbs 15, 13. A heart full of joy and goodness makes a cheerful face. Mm. Mm. But when a heart is full of sadness, the spirit is crushed. Your face tells, tells us all what, what is happening inside. Look, look around you. you. Look at the person's face. You see a really a sad face. Many people are not ugly. It is the situation. <laughs> it is the situation. <laughs> if you are always smiling, how can I do that smiling? You won't grow older than your age. You see me, uh, I'm like this. <laughs> but I'm still playing soccer. 
Mara ke sarol ka bol. I'm still running. Ke saki team. With people of half of my age. Le ba tuba half ya me ngwa ya ka. Half of my age. Half me ngwa ya ka. Can you see? Do you understand what I'm going to say? Yeah, I want to keep it in Lankayon. Because I don't want to have grudges. I kinya ko bali di hupi. I don't want to think about anybody. But if, if there is something wrong, I speak about it. If I finish there, it's finished. There. Can we just stop this thing of failing to rejoice? You cannot be a woman and have a wrinkled face. Huh? Sorry, I'm sorry. Can you say that again? Huh? And you become like uh, your husband or uh, a man. You, you must check your face. Level last for the Check your face. Go level last for the It's depicting your heart. Your face is revealing your heart. If you are always angry, you will be ugly. You will be ugly. Look somebody around you. Say the way you are, you, you are, are taking joy. Joy, it is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. You are lacking joy. You must rejoice. Eh? You must rejoice. When is the last time you loved? When is your last time that you loved? You just pray and you laugh. And you pray, enjoy prayer and you laugh. When you are just alone, you just laugh. These things work. It really works when you laugh. When people are expecting you to cry, they find you laughing. That's because people know you. You are laughing because you know what God is going to do. Uh, you hear what I'm saying? You know what God is going to do. People are holding on the problem you have. You are going forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Don't, end yet. Don't worry, stand in one place. When just speak about your problem, just go forward. Say, I will go forward. I will go forward even though I'm going forward. Even though things are happening. When is it that you will laugh? Joy. The fruit of the Holy Spirit. Why do you want to talk about the Holy Spirit? When you are failing to smile. When you are failing to rejoice. In the church. Joy. 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 I've got my own crazy dance. From nowhere, I just, I just began to dance. <laughs> when I'm very busy, like, Mama will say, Ha, when I. My what Mama will doing? say, What are you doing? I'm feeling something. I'm not 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 and began to say, yes, I have lost this. But I will rejoice in the Lord. Play the music. If you don't have the music, let the music play in the music in your mind. Music. Begin, music. Begin, to to music. Begin, to begin to dance. Begin to enjoy yourself. To enjoy yourself. Devil wants you to Satan cry. You will never see that this year. Devil will never see that Satan this year. Satan will never see that this year. When you are unable, unable to pay your car, the devil will say, I'm going to take it. Just laugh. Just laugh. 
You will see there will be Let me just joy. Give you the last script. I don't want to talk too much. Romans 15. Romans 15. Verse 13. Verse 13. <laughs> you have been dumped by your boyfriend. Why don't you become happy when that ugly person is gone? <laughs> God will give you a best husband. Verse 13. 13. Yeah. Uh -huh. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing through the experience of your faith that by the power of the Holy Spirit you will abound in hope and overflow with confidence in his promises. May God of hope fill you with all joy so that you abound in the hope seeing the promises that are about to be fulfilled. All joy. All joy. Listen, you can overcome your enemies by joy. By joy. I tried that. It, it works. It really works. You can just overcome your competitors <laughs> by joy. Allow God to give you all joy for the sake of the promises. And you will have confidence to get your hopes. This year, God will give you what you've been waiting for. God will give you what you have been waiting for. Receiving the name of Jesus. What are you waiting for? Ask your neighbor, what is it that you are waiting for? We are waiting for you. Begin to rejoice. Because it's on the road. It's coming your way. I say it's coming your way. I say receiving the name of Jesus. Are you ready to receive? Are you sure? Can it in it? Of this thing of worry. Already God has blessed you. Congratulations.